Hi guys, I've, um, I'm playing around with i3. Is this i3? Yes, it is. And it's on QMU with Vert Manager. Now, I've been switching from the, the um, Arch Linux ISO builder. I'm not, no longer on CHADWM and I'm back on i3, but this is i3 DB Nemesis. So it's a completely different setup because it's polybar at the top for one. It's not the i3 bar or i3 blocks or anything like that. It's basically the left WM config, the look and the feel. The polybar is the same and all that. Let's first see the output because I'm on QMU and he doesn't know how much real estate I have. And it's this guy. So yeah, voila, that's it. And you can always save this thing. So save as videos have been made about that. I tend to call it Eric. <laughs> so inside your home directory dot screen layout, uh, you can call it any way you like. The screen is also good, right? Safe. That's basically a script and you need to run a script and at the, at the boot up, right? At boot up, you can have this. No, not Vim, <laughs> F12, sudo pacman minus this sublime text of course and then f12 again right mouse click open so this is it a simple very simple thing to say x render a render two things to remember to set your primary mode how many many pixels and where do we start the top left uh, that's where we start zero zero and rotate you can make your neck break if you rotate differently so normal is good so that's it just launch this thing however you like and that's also already on youtube so we're not go into that thing what i wanted to show is first of all <laughs> let's uh, change the background change the background All right so he knows now how much real estate I have and we have a uh, beautiful background wallpaper this button is Rofi super D that's new is Rofi same thing because I, I do not tend to go and use the mouse in tiling window managers I tend to do a super enter and a super shift Q and a super shift enter and a control alt t and a control alt f and if firefox is installed it launches if we've already installed then control alt v if control alt p pamac installed pamac launches if pavu control control alt u it launches All right if 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 then everything works same here so this is Firefox, this is Discord. It's not installed in this virtual machine. Telegram, nope, not gonna work. So with the USB image writer, yes, that's installed. So Minstick, making an image that's with Flameshot, not installed. Calendars, not installed. InSync is not installed. Simple screen recorder is not installed. Vivaldi is not installed. But you put behind these nice icons, whatever you wanna have, and launch it like that. But like I said, Ctrl Alt F. Super Shift Q. The thing I fixed was this button down here. It uh, did not boot up because of schmot, right? Have to be executable. I just deleted the complete scripts and just pointed to Marshall Linux Logout. That's what this is. And you can theme it and change around if you want to have it opacity a little bit more and icon size a little bit bigger and font size a little bit bigger not white but handy save settings and then escape and click again you have something different right in my case i don't suspend and i don't hibernate i don't do these things so you can actually say you know what i don't want to see these icons so i'm gonna go to arslinks logout i'm gonna say you know it's fine that it's possible and all that, but uh, suspend and hibernate, not my thing. And locking, yeah, maybe shut down, sure, restart, logout, fine. And that's it. 
and with a super x it's the same button you get a little bit bigger and just a handful of selections that i want now what's also important so it's it's a video of all kind of things that i've messed with or changed with or right things that pop up in your mind and one of the things is this is actually an Arclinx B i3 the default I mean the the you end up in this you boot up into this you have a different kind of i3 so Arclinx B i3 does not look like this but this is an Arclinx B i3 what if you wanted to do exactly the same you say this would be great if I have if I end up in something like this this would be an ideal i3 okay fine super x logout uh, shut down what did I do so we are this is the arch and this is the ISO builder eh? this is the Arconix ISO builder because it feels still feels the same <laughs> but that's because it's i3 eh? what I did is go copy paste the Arco i3 so if you go to the internet and you surf to Arclinux to github.com slash Arclinux B you can download Arco i3 you copy paste this of what well, I've copy pasted this to here and the question is and that's very easy super f5 the difference between the one you have from the internet and the one I have made now is super simple packages super F you don't use the i3 WM git you don't it's out so the left is the one that's the new one right the DB nemesis theme so you don't use the i3 default scroll down and you choose because this is the DB nemesis you choose between these two themes I've made a video how to import a theme from left WM inside this and it could be inside anything else right polybar with configs so I've decided to say never mind the Arclinx i3 WM kit give me the Arclinx i3 WM DB nemesis kit and that's all it is one package out one package in you have it yourself so this is probably gonna be going on Arclinx B website how to build tutorial how to build your own Arclinx B i3 and of course things can get a lot more complex now you're using our packages if you want to use your own packages then you need to add a repo and so on and it becomes more complex but you can have this ISO the idea that I had right now omitting one and adding another my next test will be the other one how does that look right the forest that's it for me so many tutorials on our Arclinix B so if I press super one we are on workspace one on my left screen the right screen has six seven eight nine ten as workspaces so article B has so much knowledge already available and this is another what if that I had all right tutorials how to create an article B and so on and so on how to create an article B i3 with DNB nemesis theme that's it two packages switch between them and you've got yourself a different kind of i3 and that's the power that's the the thing we provide you right you have so many choices so many what ifs you can have it's all possible knowledge tutorials done have fun